And over there is Walker Lee. He can nail the square footage of a house just by walking it. Thanks to my size 12s. Tell me in the comments below, does Walker Lee kind of look like Magnum PI or Ron Burgundy? <laughs> you know, the real estate market has been going through the roof in Texas, right? But what about the prices in the town of propane salesman Hank Hill? Are prices still high or are those just writers of the show? And is Peggy gonna make it as a real estate agent? Today, we're gonna react to all the real estate from King of the Hill, and this should be dang funny. But before we get started, I'm Mark Magstead, local real estate expert here in San Diego. If you wanna learn about real estate and tour some really awesome properties, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, let's bring on the first clip. I will sell this house by 1 p.m. Oh man, oh man. Anything and everything that could possibly go wrong with that just happened. 99.9% .9 of the time, we attempt to have our clients completely out of the house when we're showing it and or having open houses. That way people can come, they can enjoy, they feel comfortable where I have had times where I'm showing properties and the owner wanted to be there. And it's kind of like, oh, did you see that? Oh, did you see this? And they're like, oh, don't touch that. Oh, it's not a comfortable feeling for everyone. So when they're not there, it's just that much easier. And also obviously like with the raccoon, you know, when you're showing homes, you want either the dogs, you know, in a specific area, dogs, cats, birds, whatnot. Your open house starts in an hour. So what do you say you jump in the car and go for a little spin around the state? Even if I was physically capable of getting into an automobile, I ain't going nowhere with outsiders in the house. They'll steal our stuff. They're gonna steal our stuff. It mostly happens when you're showing tenant occupied properties where the tenant knows that they're gonna have a find a new place to live. So they're kind of hesitant about wanting to have to move out. They tend to not show properties as well. Have it messy. Oh, don't touch that. You can't go in that room. So I feel her pain. The open house was a disaster. That woman, oh, she kept there. kissing her ferret on the mouth. I don't know who I felt worse for. Oh, ugly people sure do ruin a That's lot. That's so classic. So I thought it was a raccoon, but it was actually a ferret. There's so many different types of open houses. Some are extremely successful. Some are like way too busy where you can't talk to everyone. But then, you know, there's times when no one shows up. The seller's like, hey, did they love it? You don't want to lie, but you just kind of like, well, unfortunately, no one came through. It might have been because we had the boat festival in town or we had this, but there are times that you have great open houses and then you don't have anyone show up. Peggy, welcome to Team Sizemore. Thank you. The Texas Real Estate Commission is a grouchy Gus about child labor. Oh, Connie is just my protege. She's free. Perfect. We actually have people that have come to us that are just entering college or just finishing up college and they wanted to get into real estate. So they do an internship. Some are paid, some are not. And we had one great little intern that really helped us with our social media and got some great advertising and marketing out there. Well then, Peggy, I'd like you and your protege to meet the rest of Team Sizemore. This is Dee. She coined the word cozy for uncomfortably small places. I I'm looking at cozy as like kind of inviting and like a fun little spot that you want to go to. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at like a little small space that you don't want to enjoy. There's lots of times when we're showing a house, it's very small, we might say quaint, or we might say cute cottage. So we do see different types of properties and sometimes we'll put, you know, associations to them. And over there is Walker Lee. He can nail the square footage of a house just by walking it. Thanks to my size 12s. Tell me in the comments below, does Walker Lee kind of look like Magnum PI or Ron Burgundy? <laughs> and I believe you've already met Candy and Roger. That's Candy with an I. And Roger with an I do. <laughs> candy and I are married. Since I married Candy and Roger, our sales are up 27%. So they're not really married. Well, not to each other, but I'm afraid they're stuck with one another till their sales drop. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of real estate agents that are married. They do a nice successful job because it, it kind of helps out. Like you can have one team member or the wife do one showing and then the husband's helping with the kids or and or doing this so you can kind of juggle it. Mm. Scrumptious. So classy. Back in the day when I did a bunch of open houses, my manager needed taste. God rest her soul. She would be like, you got to bake those cookies, Mark. So we'd put them in the oven and create this really beautiful smell. And then we'd have like lemonade. And when they came in, it was just that, oh man, I'm home. Now, 
Have you touched up the dog pee spots in the backyard with green spray paint? Yeah. I can tell you honestly, I've never spray painted grass, but there was one time that it was a $2.3 million house and a very, very large dog did his business on the sidewalk walking up right before the gate. I got there, luckily my clients are dog people. They weren't home, but they had the doggy bags. So what did I do? You pick up some poop, <laughs> got rid of it. So, you know, haven't spray painted, but I did clean some stuff up. Copied names and addresses from the phone book to prime the guest book. Check. Now the cool part is, is that a lot of these are just driven via app. So we have an iPad that they can just log in really quick, do a couple quick things and it'll take them through a little list. The hard part is, is like having them sign in. There's a lot of people that put down fake names, they put down fake numbers. So we don't really do guest book that much anymore. Checked out the On Sell Adams book from the library to put on the living room coffee table. It's all covered. There's a lot of times that we'll deal with vacant properties and we will have either some fluff, which means doing stuff in the bathrooms where you do cute towels, you do you know flowers, but then there's full blown where you stage the whole house where you have all furniture completely moved in, fake TVs. We found that, that homes that are staged are selling much, much faster and for more money. So it's a good idea to stage your property. Now all I need to do is sell this sucker. Oh, Walker Lee is gonna sell this one. If it's delegated to you, it's your property. There would never be a circumstance that I'm at an open house and all of a sudden Maxine and Marty or another agent walks in that's on our team and says, oh, sorry, Mark, you have to go because I'm gonna sell this now. Unfortunately, unfortunately, that doesn't happen. Deep, we need some conversation pieces for the house on Ben. I just got a premonition that big things suspended from the ceiling are gonna be hot. So bring me something metal, heavy, and fantastic. I just saw the most exquisite objet d'art. Peggy, meet me at the dump. I mean, it's so crazy. He said hanging from the ceiling. I'm thinking like a cool chandelier, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to go and find that at the dump. Realistically, chandeliers, if you do them right, they look really cool. But then you can also do them wrong and they look completely gaudy and they don't go. So it's a fine line. Excellent. Uh, but before that, Peggy, I need you to brush my teeth. <laughs> You know, there's a lot of people that advertise because what it becomes is a name face recognition. You know, people are doing billboards or doing this or doing that. I personally haven't done that because that's not my clientele. But you know what? Name face recognition, it'll, it'll get you sales. So maybe that will work. To the dump. I can honestly say that I've never gone to the dump to outfit a house, but I have gone to secondhand stores. I've gone to discount stores, 99 cent stores to like fill properties, whether it be napkins, fake flowers, vases, you know, certain things that you might need a couple little pieces to finalize that staging. I feel bad for Peggy because her manager is just such a pompous, he doesn't seem loyal, he doesn't seem dedicated, he just seems like whatever he wants goes. Love the show, a little unrealistic, and I'm pulling for Peggy in the next one. If you like this video, make sure that you check out the next one right here. And don't forget to like this channel and also subscribe.